we'll first go over the single stage amplifiers, which was the topic of 301. So if you remember, there was a common emitter amplifier and a common source amplifier. So common emitter amplifier is, as you can see at the top left, is a BJT amplifier. And the input is from the base and the output is from the collector. And if you look at the gain of this amplifier, it is GMRL. RL is the output resistance divided by one plus GMRE and RE comes because of this degeneration. So this is actually the gain from here to the base, right? So this is the first part of the gain, but the entire gain V0 over V1 is actually this gain, right? Times this gain. And this one is simply a resistive divider, right? This input and this input, their ratio, this over this becomes this. Why? Because if you have a voltage, a resistor, and another resistor, right? And you are basically getting this input. This is V input, and this is V base. So V base over V input is simply this resistor divided by the total resistor. RB, RIB, this parallel this gives you this resistor. Plus RL, which is this, is the total risk. So that's how you look at these formulas. And the RIB is input impedance, which is R pi times one plus GMRE. Similarly, output impedance is this one. When you look at the circuit from output, which is R zero times one plus GMRE. Normally, this is a small signal, like basically AC representation. This RL is actually like this, right? VCC. But because it's small signal, this voltage DC turns ground. So that we can write RL, you know, connected to this port and to the ground. So don't get confused about it. Similarly, if we look at the other circuit, it's a common source amplifier. Input is at the gate, output is at the drain. It's the same logic. GMRL divided by 1 plus GMRS because we have the degeneration at the, at the source. And similarly, we multiply this. This is that one. We multiply this with the ratio. What is the ratio? This voltage divided by this volt. Because we are looking at the entire gain, right? V0 over Vn. So this shows you the first term, V0 over V gate. And the second term, V gate over V in, right? So that is V0 over V in because V gates cancel. And because this is CMOS, there is no R pi, right? The R pi is infinite. So you just put infinite here, basically. Well, then that's infinite. That's input impedance, infinite. Well, what is the output impedance? The output impedance is R0, 1 plus GMRS, similar logic. These are R in CE, R in CS. Basically, if you look at it, not just from the amplifier, but if you look at it from this side, right? Then that is R bar, RB parallel. RIB. Similarly, if you look at it from V output, not from here, but if you look at it from here, it becomes RC parallel RIC. So think this is also RC, same thing, right? So RC parallel RIC. The next slide will show you the common collector amplifiers. So if you look at the common collector amplifiers, the input is at the base, the output is at the emitter and the gain is gmrl divided by one plus gmrl from here to the here right and then we multiply it with the other parts which is from base to the input but what really is important to find is this part this one is easy to find right and for for cmos same logic gmrl one plus gmrl and uh the RIB and the RIE, the input impedance, output impedance, they are given. Why is it 1 over GM? Well, when we look at the output impedance from here, actually, if you draw the small signal resistance, you'll see that the impedance looking from here is R pi over beta. Okay, So that R pi over beta is equal to 1 over GM because GM was beta over R pi, something like that. So uh, this is also called, if you remember, RE. Okay? So RE is equal to R pi over beta. And similarly, for the CMOS, you know, the input impedance is again infinity, right? And the output impedance is 1 over GM. So, and then, uh, where is this? Okay. And if we look at the other amplifiers, which is this time 
common base, right? Because base is ground. And input is at the, this time emitter and output is at the collector. So the gain GMRL or the CMOS GMRL. And then the total voltage gain is the first gain GMRL times the second gain, which is this divided by this. And the RTH, so this parallel, this for simplicity, they call it RTH. Okay. So this is like the second term in the previous slide. So the main gain from V0 to the V input is this. And then from here to the input is the other. Okay. And uh, it shows input impedance, output impedance. So uh, that's basically a background on 301. Okay. So these are the important single stage amplifiers. Well, why is it important? Well, because in the differential stages, you are doing half circuits and you'll be solving this, right? That's why it's important. So let's go through the differential amplifiers quick. So this is a simple differential amplifier, a CMOS differential amplifier. So if you look at it as a differential and uh, common mode perspective, there are two signals. The common signals is the common mode signal, right? And if you look at the differential sides, Common mode is connected diff over two and minus diff over two, right? So V in one is V in CM plus V in diff over two. V in two is V in CM uh, minus V diff over two. As you can see, there is a current mirror at the left and this current mirror is connected to here, VC, VC, right? They are same node. So basically it gets the current from IRF. So there are four important terms for gains it depends how you define them adm adm and what does that we are applying differential mode and we are looking at the output differential which means we don't have any common mode signal so let's short it okay input is differential so we only have differential signals no common mode so if you apply you apply the half circuit approach differentially right so this part becomes ground so you solve this circuit right because since this is ground here, you saw this circuit. So, but you are looking at differentially, right? So differentially looking at means you are not only looking at this node, but if you are solving it half circuit, that's how you solve it. This divided by input will give you the gain. This is also corresponding to differential differential, because if you solve the entire circuit and find X, find y, vx minus vy, divided by v in 1 minus v in 2, and v in 1 is what? vd over 2. vd over 2. v in 2 is what? Minus vd over 2. So the total is vd, right? vd over 2 minus minus v in vd over 2. Input is v diff, input diff, right? So output is vx over vx minus vy. So V out one minus V Y. So that is ADM, ADM. But rather than doing bunch of like analysis, it, which will correspond to the same answers, we just do the half circuit approach and we divide this to this and you'll get the same gain. This ADM, ADM. If we look at ADM, CM, what does this tell you? Differential mode input gain uh, to the common mode uh, output. Differential oh, sure. input signal is at the denominator differential, so it's V diff, and output is only one of them, right? For instance, Vx. So this will give you what? If if everything is ideal, if there is no mismatch, if the gain here is let's say 20, what what do we expect for this one to be gain wise? Let's say gain is 20, like one cos omega t is our signal. So let's say this is one cos omega t. So output is 20 cos omega t, right? 10 cos omega t minus minus 10 cos omega t, right? So 20 cos omega t divided by one cos omega t. So if we get 10 cos omega t here, put it here, 10 cos omega t, and input is what? One cos omega t. One cos omega t, right? So the gain is half. Got it? Because we are only getting one output rather than both out. These outputs are opposite polarity, right? Because your inputs are opposite polarity. So that is the second one. If there is a mismatch though, delta R minus delta R, well, you can check if this thing will change or not, okay? And then we have another term called ACM-ACM. 
and ACM. ACM is when we have a common mode signal, we are looking single end, right? This time, what we do is we are not shorting this, but we are actually shorting the differential signal, right? So we are actually shorting these guys at the input. Short them, short it all. <laughs> And then this is your input. You apply both sides VCM. So if we, if there is no mismatch, everything is same, right? Differentially, which is another term. Let me write it here as well. ACM, ADM. What do we expect this to be? Zero, right? Because VCM is at the input and the output is VX minus VY. Because they are same input at the both transistors, Vx minus Vy will be zero. So ideally, this would be zero. But if we have a mismatch, for instance, delta R, or it might be another mismatch, such as maybe Gm plus delta Gm is this transistor's transconductance, and this one, Gm minus delta Gm, right? So a mismatch is basically if these transistors or if these resistors, they are not exactly the same. But because there is a mismatch, it is not necessarily zero. We have to figure out how much is Vx minus Vy. And we'll go through that. And also CM, CM. This time we again, as we did, apply both inputs at the input. And we look at the output, single-ended or differential. Single-ended. We only look one of them. Like let's say Vx. So for this one, again, you can do a half circuit. Let's do a half circuit. And when we do the half circuit, this time everything intersecting here at the middle, right, will be this time open circuit. Open, 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 open. Well, there is nothing touching here, so this is open too. But we see an impedance here. Let's call that impedance R03. So this impedance, in this case, it's simple. It will be R03 of this transistor, R03, right? So it will be rewritten as two resistors in parallel and each of them being 2RO3 and 2RO3. And then since rest is open circuits, what we do is actually half circuits of this. This is short, right? The input is VCM and we look at the outputs here. So Vx over VCM. So it's just like previous slides. You know how to solve a circuit like this, right? If we just go back quick, right? This is this amplifier, you have an output impedance, you have a degeneration impedance, okay? You have an output impedance, you have a degeneration impedance. And if we look at the result, for instance, quickly, as you can see, we have a VCM here, and we are taking one of the outputs, let's say this one. Well, here it took it as a, let me check if it is differential. Uh, yeah, so here, if it takes differential and if it takes single-ended, let's check. So you have the input VCM and V output and V R2. So what it does is, hey, we increase the input a little bit, delta VCM. That means this VB will change, delta VB, and the current will slightly, very slightly change small signal current. So it is delta IC times 2 REE. Why 2REE? Because, you know, actually there is 2REE here, right? So when the current changes, this voltage will change this much. And we rewrite delta VB as delta IC over GM. Why? Because the current change due to the VB change is GM delta VBE, right? That's the logic of transistors. We change the voltage, we see a current change. Right, that's the entire logic of amplification. And so we rewrite this term, we take the delta ICE and we rewrite it as VCM, delta VCM over one plus GM plus two REE. And as you can see, a small change in the voltage corresponds to a small change in the current. And we can see how much V out changes. Well, V out is VCC minus RCC times current. So if this current changes delta that means this voltage will drop delta current times resistance because this voltage is vcc minus current times resistance so if the current increases this voltage decreases right so if we are looking single-ended vcm vcm right 
it is delta IC minus delta IC over times RC is your output signal change. And what is the input signal change? Well, that is delta VCM. Well, we wrote delta IC as VCM. So we put it here, this guy, the VCMs cancel. So what we have is RC over one over GM plus two REE. Well, if we multiply both sides with GM, what do we get? GM RC one plus GM two RE. Well, does this look familiar? It does, right? Well, this is the gain of this half circuit. I just explained you the logic behind it. So if you go back, GMRC divided by one plus GM, two RE, right? This was two, this was two RE, two RE. So if we go back to the 301 slides, well, GMRC divided by one plus GM RE. GMRC divided by one plus GM two RE. That is VCM, VCM. But what if we look for VCM, DM? That means we have the input VCM and now output is this minus this. So the differential will be the change at the V output is delta this. The change at the output two is delta that. Their actual change is now that. So basically instead of this, we are putting a delta here, right? So, and this time there is a delta coming. That's the only difference. Why? Because if there was no delta, this would be what? Equal to zero, right? Because RC, RC, if delta is zero, that means this is zero. Well, that makes sense. We apply common mode signal. Everything is ideal. The outputs would be same. So their difference would be zero. As I mentioned, there is one VCM, VCM gain, one VCM, DM gain, and also VDM, DM, and VDM, CM. So there are four different gains.